I'm Chad Colby, the host of Trackside. Trackside is the official program of the United States Cross Country National Guard Snowmobile Championship. Uh, first, I'd like to thank everybody for coming. Um, we have a great turnout this year. Uh, we have about 135 drivers in the modern sleds. We've got 35 in the vintage, and then you throw in the, the kids. We're going to be pushing 185, 190 drivers, which is uh, about 70 more than we had last year, so that's pretty awesome. I'm Chad Colby with Dan Ebert, our champion from last year. Dan, uh, what a difference a year makes, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Uh, it's just crazy, crazy race last year. Um, we're coming back and doing it again, obviously. You know, tell us a little bit about the difference in preparation. I mean, you're riding with the with the whole factory group. There's a whole bunch of you getting ready out of the same trailer. And last year, with all the drama that happened, you know, obviously you got the win, which is which is something that's going to go down in history. But this year, coming in as the near I say defending champion, <laughs> the preparation had to. Be be different in your head yeah for sure you know coming into it last year it was kind of a last minute deal we decided to throw a practice sled together and get a baseline set up from buddies of ours and we just went out there and raced uh, not very prepared at all uh, as crazy as it sounds luckily our Hardy cat speedworks zone bill held up awesome to the conditions we had very minimal troubles took very little maintenance to keep it up and, and do the distance and uh, just really says a lot about the product and, and what goes into the program you know tell us about uh, this week leading up to this race I'm guessing as the defending champion you were looking at things pretty close because obviously winning one's awesome but there's a lot of guys that have won a, two or three of these and obviously you're one of those guys that could do that was the preparation different at all this week you know it is it was it was huge I mean from day one I mean so we started out the year when we got all of us all of our snow cross sleds and we got a cross country sled for me a specialized <laughs> cross country sled and uh, it's it's been unbelievable I mean as far as comparing the years from last year to this year the prep sled prep that went into this was crazy. It, I, I kept joking with the guys at the shop, I hope this isn't a jinx. We, we didn't hardly put anything into the sled last year and went out there and raced and uh, this year we put in countless hours. I can't thank my mechanics, crew guys, so much at the shop. I mean the, the hours that they put in is absolutely unbelievable and we're just going to try and set ourselves up the best we can. You know, uh, you can't control things you can't control. You can't control rocks and, and, and dirt clods and deer and, and crashing but you just got to set yourself up and if the cards fall, they fall. You know, one thing you and I were visiting before and I I know your dad's instrumental in your racing, but this is one of those races where the race has to come to you. And I think last year watching these races, as long as I have, that race came to you. And that's one of the things in setup with your dad helping and so forth too. I'm sure he's helped influence some of that. Oh, for sure. You know, I mean, you can't win it in the first 20 miles, first 50 miles. You can't win it in the first 100 miles. Right. You know, you need to be there at the end. You know, uh, Danny Eckery, uh, <laughs> an awesome guy in the sport, he told me, he said, Dan, if you're within five minutes the last day, anything's possible. And, you know, you just got to set yourself up for for being there at the end. You know, you can't go out there and say, you know, I'm going to win this race. I'm going to win it today. All you're going to do is, I believe, ride at not over your head, but you got to go at a qu obviously a quick, quick pace and uh, just be there at the end, I think is the biggest thing. You know, Dan, one thing real quick, you know, we're talking super cold weather tomorrow. You know, obviously you're an experienced racer. What do you do different when these temperatures are going to go as cold as they're going to be tomorrow? Is there anything different in your physique or anything clothing-wise, anything you change up knowing it's going to be 30, 40 below? <laughs> yeah, you know, you just definitely got to prepare for the conditions. Obviously, thicker gloves, you know, uh, make sure your face is covered. I wear uh, pretty breathable clothing, pretty breathable under, under armor to hopefully wick away moisture. So if you do get, if you do dress too warm and you sweat, you know, uh, you deal with it. But like you say, I mean, the cold weather plays a role. It plays a role in anything as far as the snow condition, to track suspension, to, to handlebars, to, I mean, everything. It's It plays a role. I think you just need to be more careful and, uh, like you say, be there at the end. There you go. Well, Dan, listen, from all of us, the USCC, again, congratulations on the uh, first championship, and uh, good luck tomorrow, bud. Thanks, Chad. Appreciate it. Don't forget, you too could be a part of riding snowmobiles in sub-zero temperatures like this weekend at the Red Lake I-500. The Red Lake I-500 is a 500-mile race, but then our normal race series is about a 45 or 50-mile race. Grab your snowmobile, come on out and see us at the USCC. Hi, welcome to Trackside. I'm Chad Colby. Behind me, the 2011 Red Lake I-500 is getting ready to take place. 180 riders, 170 miles, and it's 20 below without the wind chill. It's a great day for cross-country racing.
Today's racing will consist of the following. It's a three-day format to equal our 500 miles. We run about 170 miles a day. Drivers will take the green flag right underneath the National Guard banner. That will activate our timing system. The driver will then proceed through some of Minnesota's finest for 60 miles to the fuel stop. They'll then grab fuel, and I would say in a NASCAR style format. From there, they'll proceed out for a 60 mile loop back to that fuel stop, grab fuel again, and then return here to take the checkered flag for day one on the 500. With 180 racers in today's event, historically we lose between 20 and 30 percent of our field per day. So a lot of these riders will have a great day and there'll be some that this will end their first day's conquest. So we're in Plummer, Minnesota at the, at the site of our fuel stop for the day. Remember, guys pit here twice. So when you're looking at the fuel stop, the drivers that are coming to us now, they've just completed their first leg of today's running. They've went about 55 miles, and they're stopping here for gas. They're going to leave right here, and they're going to go make about another 60-mile loop to bring them right back here. Our pro riders will be coming through here pretty quick. As you can see, they walk the sleds into the pits. They put in two cans of gas, whatever it takes to get the sleds full of fuel. Um, a pretty busy place today. Fueling's always been an issue at every I-500 race. Safety is always paramount. So when you look at the fueling area, you're going to notice that everybody uses the same can. We have changed the rules this year. You're limited to a five-gallon can. That's the only thing you can fuel in, and we've limited the vent line and the actual feed line into the snowmobile and that's to ensure that everybody's playing by the same rules but it's also a safety issue we've had some issues in the in the past with some high-tech fuel cans so that's been one thing that kinda controls the safety in the pit area uh, we should get a few more guys coming out right now on the right hand side you'll see the fuel cans already sitting there staged that's for the riders who are out making their their second 60 mile loop and they're gonna be coming in on that side here shortly The United States Cross Country Series has classes for all types of snowmobilers, from the high-tech pros like this machine right here to the trail sled you ride at home. Grab your snowmobile, come on out and see us, and enjoy the intense fun of cross-country racing. Young racers have to start somewhere, and with the USCC, that starts on a 120cc kids snowmobile.
and caught up with Dan. Dan, day one's over and you're still in the race, so that's the yeah. good stuff, right? Yeah. So tell us about your day. Well, it started out good, you know, uh, flat light conditions for everybody, but it was fine. Uh, Gabe and I were having some pretty good battles and we come into a double down section into a pretty good ditch and he ended up having an off and I just missed him, but ended up stopping in the bottom of the ditch and got stuck and we were both there for probably five minutes digging each other out. I, I couldn't go to the right, I had to go to the left and we had to dig him out first before I could get out. And, Fortunately, there were some people that could help us pull because, man, we were we were stuck bad. But uh, all in all, it was a good day. It was tough to see. I felt like I was riding a little tentative just for the fact I couldn't see. It sounds like the weather forecast is going to be call for clear skies tomorrow, so keep our fingers crossed. Well, it was it was uh, just a combination of things. I mean, it, it was probably my fault coming into there. I, I came in um, a little too cautiously. I was I was driving way cautious this morning and. Um, just the visibility was bad and everything and I came in and uh, just was nosed it in the bottom of a ditch and I guess um, wound up on the wrong side of the snowmobile and that's where the snowmobile sat and um, Dan was uh, you know a few seconds behind me there he came over and he, he tried to come alongside of me and uh, must have been on the steeper side of the bank and he uh, wound up uh, sitting right next to me there so <laughs> there wasn't a lot of words exchanged we had some uh, you know some some work a little bit of work ahead of us there and uh, some some uh, bystanders you know help dig some snow away from our snowmobiles so we could get out of there and got back on the track oh I, tomorrow there's more river and last uh, last few years I've run pretty good on the river too so I just hope to hold a nice steady pace tomorrow and see where I finish and uh, hopefully we can be the first off the line on day three so what's your plan for tomorrow run it run a little bit harder tighten up the shock and see what we can do there you go. Well, hey, listen, from all of us, good luck tomorrow. Be safe. Yep. Thank you. For the latest information about the USCC and its other races this season, check us out online at usccracing.com. 
The United States Cross Country Series gives a special thank you to the Sevens Clans Casino. Without the Sevens Clans Casino, the Red Lake I-500 would not take place.